If you're driving through Scottsburg, Indiana, you might see an unusual sight on the side of the highway, a Prius that looks a little longer than normal. Claire McInerney reports on the man who's building the Prius limousines. Damaged Toyota Priuses bound for the junkyard are literally being turned into something bigger. The Prius limo, or Primo, is something of a side project for Steve Woodruff. He owns a salvage and rebuilding garage for hybrid cars in Scottsburg. When we're finished, it has seating for seven and gets as much as 44 miles per gallon. Woodruff says the idea was born out of necessity. My wife asked me to build one for her. We have three teenage daughters, and there's always a crowd going band practice, basketball, you name it. It takes about 90 days to build one from start to finish. Most of that is time spent fabricating the middle doors. They're made with two wrecked Priuses, one with frontal damage and the other with rear damage. He welds the halves of two doors together to make the doors in the middle row. There's no machinery to help with this process, so it's all done by hand. I absolutely love it. Joshua Anderson lives in Madison, Indiana, and, uh, and bought the second like Primo Woodruff made. To move forward and backward. I bought it for the fuel consumption uh, savings. Uh, we have four kids, and we do a lot of traveling with sporting events. Despite owning a regular-sized Prius, Anderson had some concerns about buying the Primo. Number one, whether he could fit it into a parking space. He can. The Primo is about the size of a medium SUV. And number two, would the car have enough power? What I found is that I own a small Prius and this Prius, and there's no difference in the way it performs. Woodruff's main income comes from selling repaired Priuses. Manufacturing these Primos are more of a hobby for him right now. However, a limo company out of Las Vegas recently called and ordered two from him, leaving Woodruff with high hopes that the idea will soon catch on. Now we take a look back at what was making the news 50 years ago. It's our History Through Headlines segment. The date was April 1964. The musical West Side Story won Best Picture. Lyndon B. Johnson was president. And animals were the main attraction in Indianapolis. The headline reads, Zoo's opening tomorrow tops 20-year effort. The original location of the Indianapolis Zoo opened 50 years ago at the Washington Park Children's Zoo. The location there was a little smaller, the collection was a little bit smaller, and beginning in the early 80s, we started to look at expanding. In its first year, 270,000 visitors toured the exhibits of Asian elephants, camels, and tortoises. The current location at White River State Park opened in June 1988. The zoo is still expanding today, keeping with its mission of animal conservation. One of those expansions includes a new orangutan center that is set to open in May. And we have good news to report on Deanne Weaver, the Columbus area runner we profiled last week about her experience running Boston last year. She completed this week's Boston Marathon and calls it the most wonderful experience. Weaver was unable to complete last year's race because of the bombings, but didn't let that stop her from going back this year. She says the race brought a sense of redemption to the city of Boston as the runners took back the finish line. It's great to hear that she made it through the end. Lots of inspiring photos and video, too, there from were. Monday's uh, race. And there was so much flowing through social media that day. It was really expiring, and it really did last all the way through the week. So. That's the end of this program, but our work continues online as we cover the news in southern Indiana throughout the week online. It's all at WTIUnews.org. Have a great weekend. Indiana News Desk is made possible in part by the following. Indiana University's Center for Applied Cybersecurity Research, presenting Security Matters with tips for improving online security in three minutes or less. Smithville Communications, serving Southern Indiana with high-speed fiber gigabit internet. Smithville Fiber Gigabit Technology, tap the power. And by WTIU members, thank you.